Welcome to your favourite day of the week everyone, where it's our favourite time of year again, where up until Christmas we're going through strange, funny and absolutely downright bizarre stories which have happened in history. Last time out we learned about the people who drowned in poo, and this time I have such an amazing story for you, it has everything, a tourist attraction, a great British response, and everything you could ever ask for. So let's see what's behind our next door. Lord Uxbridge's leg. So if you had your leg blown off, how would you react? Well this old boy here is Lord Uxbridge, a British army officer and during the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, one of the last cannibals fired that day hit his right leg. According to one anecdote, Uxbridge displayed a bit of British stiff upper lip and instead of squealing in pain, he exclaimed to the Duke of Wellington who is nearby, By God, Sir! I've lost my leg! The Duke of Wellington gave him an even more British reply, No! Have you? By God! Uxbridge was taken to his headquarters where his leg needed to be amputated above the knee. He remained his composed self throughout with one of his only comments being, The knives appear somewhat blunt. After the amputation, he was visited by another British officer, Sir Hussey Vivian, where Uxbridge asked Vivian to inspect his detached leg as his friends said he could have kept it on. The exchange that followed went like this. Ah, Vivian said the wounded noble, I want you to do me a favour. Some of my friends here seem to think I might have kept that leg on. Just go and cast your eye upon it and tell me what you think. Sir so Hussey Vivian went accordingly and taking up the lacerated limb, carefully examined it and so far as he could tell, it was completely spoiled for work. A rusty grape shot had gone through and shattered the bones all to pieces. Vivian returned to Uxbridge and told him he could set his mind quite at rest as his leg, in his opinion, was better off than on. So apparently the police were just at the door, but it's the wrong location. So let's carry on with our story. Uxbridge's leg became quite the legend, where he apparently said, who would not lose a leg for such a victory, and the saw used to amputate it is held in the National Army Museum. The homeowner of the house where the leg was amputated asked to bury the leg in the garden, and the chair where the leg was amputated, as well as the tombstone for the leg, became a tourist attraction for the top people in European society. The leg stayed in the homeowner's family until 1878, until Uxbridge's son visited to find the bones were actually not buried and were on open display. A dispute led to the bones being ordered to be reburied, however they weren't and instead hidden until 1934 where one of the widows of the family found them in a study and she burnt them in a furnace, horrified at the thought of another scandal. The tale of Lord Uxbridge provides us all with inspiration to display a bit of British stiff upper lip in your life when your leg gets blown off. So I've been Jamie's Day, your favourite day of the week, and this was the tale of Lord Uxbridge's leg. Thank you all for watching everyone, and I hope you've all enjoyed, and join us next time, where we're going through... What are we going through? How D-Day was almost foiled by a crossword. I'll see you all then, peace.